when I got asked to do this concert, they asked me to do something light-hearted. I don't know why, I don't know what else is in the program, but when you choose with a music director, he has to plan for his whole season. He said, I want something light for this time of year. I said, okay, why don't we try American? Because there's a lot of repertoire. I mean, when you think of light European music, it's usually from operas or operetta or something. And the American music market is a very entertaining music market. We have a mixture of styles. So I thought, being American, I get asked for these programs a lot. I took um, some of my favorite American pieces and also some that are not well known at all. Um, for example, Cakewalk, nobody knew it before. And there's a, there's a reason for this. There are many pieces I think that have been overplayed, like West Side Story has been overplayed. Um, uh, American in Paris is also played a lot, So, but I wanted to have one thing that people knew. Now, people are going to recognize a lot of things because the, the American composers um, steal from each other very much and steal from our, our folklore culture and our folk songs. Um, so we have a good mixture of um, sort of big band music, swing music, Broadway style, and for example, the Barber Adagio for Strings, which is one of our, our sort of national pieces, um, which, which is straight from the heart. And also, um, the Gottschalk, the cakewalk, is based on um, Creole tunes and slave music, so from a very dark time in our, in our history, and there's a lot of, you'll hear voodoo sounds with drums, and you, you, you can hear ragtime, you can hear Dixieland, and all of those pieces, even though they sound very lighthearted, come from a dark history, and evolved, even jazz and the blues that evolved from that comes from the sadness of a culture as well, and coming from that and trying to make themselves happy. You know, the start of it, the history of any country isn't happy. The Barber's Adagio is for me um, actually a very personal piece. I can't even remember when I heard it for the first time, but I remember just crying. Um, I must have been very young, and I think when I heard it for the first time, I couldn't believe that something could make me cry. It's m very much like Mahler, like Mahler's Fourth Symphony, like the Fifth Symphony, the slower movements of those symphonies. And Barber was a very melancholy man. He was very confronted with his own homosexuality, which he couldn't really come to terms with. And for us Americans, the piece has become very much um, a symbol of our national sadness. Every time something sad happens in our country, they play this on the radio. So when Kennedy died, when the World Trade Center bombings happened, they played this. With all the memorials after that, they play this. Every, well, I think Jacqueline Kennedy wanted it played at her funeral as well. Um, and a, a few days ago, a friend of mine posted on Facebook, she said, I heard this on the radio today, the barber, and, and I had to go to the news right away and see if something happened. Because, but sometimes they just play it. So that's, that's the symbolism of that in our country.